Hello, I am Ricardo Rincon, and I'm the litigation manager at the Campbell Law Group in beautiful Coral Gables, Florida. Welcome to episode one of the Campbell Corner podcast. Today, I have the great pleasure of introducing the host of the Campbell Corner podcast, attorney Regina Campbell. Hello, everybody. Well, I'm sure you guys have all seen her on her many videos on YouTube and uh, social media and her website. And if you haven't, you really need to check that out because there's some really good informative stuff on there. This podcast, we thought we'd do something a little bit different. We get to show you a side of Regina Campbell that most people don't get to know. And we're doing this in a different format. We're asking our interns to ask her questions since our interns have questions and they, they don't know. Okay, so first question written by our summer interns. Okay, so two questions because apparently they can't follow directions. Where were you born and what's your heritage? I was born in Miami, Florida, and uh, I have a Puerto Rican background, also mixed with Scottish and Irish uh, on my father's side. Well, that explains the Campbell surname. I think they probably heard you speaking Spanish, must have confused them. Campbell, very American, but she's a Boricua, just so you yes, know. Yes, I'm Regina Campbell Padrón in Puerto Rico. So. <laughs> there you're Puerto Rican for the little Latinos out there. Where did you go to law school and what was your favorite class? And I guess you can see that these are typical intern questions. Yeah. Well, I went to Hofstra uh, Law School up in New York. It's on Long Island. And one of my favorite classes was business drafting. Business drafting? What's that? Basically drafting contracts, um, you know, operating agreements, asset purchase agreements. And since actually I had a lot of experience even before I went to law school in doing so for my own businesses and working with my other lawyers, it was one of my fun, one of the funnest classes I had. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Well, it sounds riveting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, you know that's why she's an attorney, right? Uh, yeah. That's why she's doing the work for you. <laughs> yes, half, I know most of my clients don't want to read it. They look at it, they're like, "Oh, that Raj, can you read this?" <laughs> Not for me. All right, next question. Can the interns get a raise? Sorry, oops, I don't know how that got in there. You don't need to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, in fact, I'm going to make sure you accidentally doctor pay. All right. Question. When you are not at work. Which intern put that yeah, in? yeah, yeah. It's probably your son. Yeah. All right. When you're not at work, what is your favorite pastime hobby? Uh, well, actually exercising, which would also include weightlifting. I love particularly sports boating. Uh, I love traveling. Those are my favorite pastimes. Well, you take exercising pretty serious. Isn't that how you hurt your knees? I did actually, but I did that doing you know jumping up, uh, doing a um, a jump squat with a twenty five pound on my uh, on my chest, and I literally did a Gumby move and my knee went in and out. Okay, pretty horrible. All right, next question. In your professional opinion, what is the greatest threat to the world today, and how do you relate this threat correlation to the fragile moral fabric upon which our society is based? Again, the interns. <laughs> I love to answer that. No, it's not that type of episode. Uh, We're doing lighthearted view with you and. Can we, can we do another podcast? Yeah, we'll do another one with that one, and I apologize again. <laughs> I'm remembering all of these questions in turns. Okay, this one's a, a more along the lines of the show. What is your favorite restaurant in Miami? It's the Cipriani's. Cipriani in Brickell. Yes. Fantastic. But you also lived in New York, so I'm sure you... Lived. Yes, that's probably one of my favorite restaurants, both places. Cipriani is excellent. And they're not paying us to say this. Excellent service, great food. Wonderful. Okay, how are we doing on time? Okay, we're getting the thumbs up, so we have time for a couple more questions. Okay. All right, here's a really insightful one, which I'm surprised the interns wrote. Who has been the most influential person in your career and why? Well, actually, in my particular career would be my grandfather. My grandfather was a judge in Puerto Rico, and I always admired him. He was a poet as well, a very creative writer. So I always admired him, and I uh, thought of myself of going into the legal field. And I always thought of him the way he was, very ethical, very kind, also very equitable, you know, understood humanity and also the different aspects, of course, of law as well, but brought that type of humanity into his, not just his practice as a lawyer, but also as a judge. So from a career point of view, he was one of the biggest people that influenced me. Well, I, I had no idea. That's awesome. He sounds like a really cool guy. Um, last question. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite part about being an attorney? I have to say it's actually representing people, um, defending people, protecting them, 
sometimes even from themselves, but also protecting them from difficult situations that they might be finding themselves in, whether it's in a divorce or a particular business dispute or litigation dispute. Some of the most heartbreaking ones are actually the ones that are uh, victims of fraud because it's, I'm protecting them, I want to go after the person, I want to get their money in. They're very often difficult kind of cases and the fraudsters are very well, they know the system very well so they're able to game it quite a bit. And, it, and in most cases it doesn't make sense to litigate these cases so it's sort of a balance to try to find justice at the same time, uh, find remedy and help them find peace and closure with this, you know, bad chapter of their life. But I would say that's one of the things I love most about being an attorney is protecting people and helping them. And, and there's fraud in Miami? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're the capital of the United States, right? Yes, yes. Miami, unfortunately, is the fraud capital of the United States. We're number one. All right. Well, it seems like that's all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank uh, our wonderful host for joining us. And for you all for joining us for the inaugural episode of the Campbell Corner Podcast, please uh, follow us on all of our social media and tune in uh, next month when we have the fabulous actress slash director slash producer, direct from Hollywood, uh, Cindy Luna. Thank you very much.